Hey guys, I have a duel here for the semi-final tournament match of the free tournament on Wizard101 Central. Uh, I'm against Torchman Griffinflame from Wizard101 Central forums. His character's name is Patrick Griffinflame. Uh, being the free tournament, that means that it is free from wild bolts, stuns, and minions. Helps you, or makes you, rely more on strategy instead of like additional help or stunning or bolting like mad um yeah luckily I got like all my amulet ice shields at the beginning of the duel which is pretty nice cause I don't know I just like to have the shield instead of having to use all my tower shields up um yeah I usually don't carry ice shield but since I knew I was going to be dueling Patrick who is ice I put on the amulet that you can get in croc that gives you three ice shields 85 percent resistance but i also have four regular ice shields because i learned the ice shield from the trainer in uh, the commons of wizard or wizard city so that way i have seven shields without going into sideboard to block yep. one thing i noticed it's well, pretty nice for me. He, since he has the original crown gear on, his resist is 8. 18, I mean. Yeah, 18. And with my attack with the full arena gear, it is 22% boost. And so with that, it got cancels each other out. So my attack boost cancels out his resistance. So all my spells do like regular damage. Like Orthrus will do 50 and then 650. Like exact. So that's pretty pretty dandy um yeah so just shield a bit at first since he had one miss shield already I really didn't want to give him the chance of having another miss shield so that my attack would be completely blocked so that's the main reason I attacked with only one buff on because wanted to get that shield out of the way so that if he put on a miss shield another turn later he'd still have to apply another shield just makes it convenient for me. It's one great thing about being Myth. Of course, being the free tournament, I don't have minions, which sucks for Myth. Because you have four minion spells. Golem, Troll, Cyclops, and Minotaur. So you're kind of handicapped there, because there's four spells you can't use. Of course, I don't know why you use Minotaur minion in a duel anyway, since he is worthless for dueling. He's like a Storm minion with more health. It's just... I think he has more. I don't know. He's useless. But then I don't have... Two stun spells. Well, I don't use stuns anyway, but it's still two more spells I can't use. So it's six spells that I cannot use in this duel. And then there's all the minion buff spells, but I never use those anyway. But in this free tournament, we don't allow Stormlord or Frost Giant either, because one, they do about the same damage as a Colossus or Triton, so you'd be spending an extra pip to use them. Two, we don't allow stuns. Three, there's no minions out or anything. So you have no re yep no dude. you have no reason to need a group spell. So it's pretty much just you're not really losing anything except your stun. But since it's not a lot anyways, that's why we don't have them. Of course, him Patrick being ice, he's a little handicapped too. He can't use three three of his spells: minion, freeze, and frost giant. So it kind of evens out in handicapness, I guess. So, finally got my Time of Legend out. I put 5 in my deck for this duel, and it finally, finally got one. I'm only using a 50 card deck here, so I was really hoping to get sooner. Time of Legend is like the key for Myth Wizards. And dueling at least, because it pretty much cancels out the clothing boost they have. It's just really nice to have, because Myth attacks are kind of weak, so Time of Legend boosting all of them really helps give you an upper hand in duels. I don't normally have 5 common legends, I usually have like 3 or 4, but being that I can't use a lot of my spells, minions mainly, which I use a lot of, I had to fill them up with something. Um, I was a little surprised because I have 5 common legends. She's probably going to give me a hard time about it later because I made fun of her one for duels because she had like 7 earthquakes in her death. Her death. Deck. Which I thought was a little excessive, but oh well. 
Um, play Volcanic Shield because, you know, we didn't really want to discard it in just case he had, like, a Kraken or Triton or something like that. Or if he used a Convert, that was also why I had it there. Um, yeah, I used a Minotaur without buffs because I picked huge shield. But I did have Time of Legend out, so I did get some boost, and I probably should have healed. But I had all the shields out that I would have needed, and so I, pre I felt pretty safe. There were so many times in this duel, I was like, well, should I Dryad now? I mean, what if he attacks me? But then, with my resistance of 41 from the Arena Gear and my Ninja Pig, uh, he would need, like, 3 or 4 buffs to do 1,000 damage on me with Ice. And so, didn't really use Dryad. Because, one, I felt a little cocky about it. My resistance it makes me feel special. I didn't really have a need either. Um, yeah, I didn't really need a tower shield either, but I was trying to pull out one of my booster pack dispels melts, but I kept pulling tower shields and I'm like, well, I have to wait a turn before I can discard them anyway, so mine's will at least use one so I can get an open spot in there. There again, I was looking for dispels, because I kind of thought he would use Tower Shield right there. But instead he passed, which the reason I didn't attack was I thought he used Tower Shield. I'm like, well then I would get him down to about 200 health and then he could just Ice Absorb or something. But instead of using an Ice Absorb this turn, which is what I expected because of his pips, he used Rebirth. Which, you know, kind of a dumb move, but oh well. He told me after the duel he had 5 Ice Absorbs in his deck and 5 Bale Frost and he couldn't pull one the entire duel. Which stinks, because I know how that feels. Well, not with Ice Absorbs and Bale Frost, but with, like, Minotaur or Cyclops Minion or Time of Legend. So right there, when he used that Rebirth, that pretty much sealed my victory, because I knocked him down to about 200 health, a little less. Well, no, a little more. But, so then he had, like, was left with, like, one or two pips, and so he'd need to heal, and I'm here with my time of legend up, buffing up. So he was pretty much got handicapped right there. I mean, Rebirth, yeah, I did give him a good heal and an absorb, but Orthos kind of dominated that. So he just wanted to get one more attack in, so he did. It did 16, because I had two ice shields and tower and stuff. But good duel, Torch Man. Hope to see you in some more tournaments later, and remember my tips I gave you, alright? Have fun.